Hi team, this is Anna, makeup teacher, creator, and educator specifically for people with hooded eyes. I also touch on oil and texture skin a lot. And today we're going to be recreating a really, really gorgeous makeup look by Sabrina Carpenter for her 25th birthday. I just love how glowy and beautiful and healthy the skin looks. The whole blushing vibe is right up my alley. But obviously we're going to use really specific techniques for my oily and textured and acne prone skin to achieve that look without looking greasy. I am also extremely in love with a cool tone, kind of sultry eye look and a little bit of a lash on the outer corner and obviously the 90s kind of brown lip, but make it, you know, 2024 with a bit of a gloss. I'm obsessed with this look. I wish I could have her cake for my 25th, but uh, that's long gone. <laughs> and I'm also just in love with her dress. Come on, that dress has been my dream dress for so long. But like the long version, the, the version from the movie, 10 Things I Hate About, no, not 10 Things, but oh my God, how to lose a guy in 10 days. <laughs> that dress lives in my head rent free and the short version looks super cute on her. Enough talk enough talk we have so much work to do that makeup look may appear super simple and easy to do like oh she probably just put together you know some blush and a lip liner but actually <laughs> it's gonna take us a lot of steps and a lot of different products and different techniques i hope this video is going to be helpful let's get right into it so in terms of skin prep i am going to do the steps that i usually do and i will never skip them the two steps are lip prep which is going to be the lowest forget the filler overnight lip mask this one is a little bit plumping not a little bit plumping but i mean it's it has that plumping effect so you will feel it on your lips i do not mind it however i just love lawless lip products that's not the last lawless lip product we're going to be using in this video so cute and then after that i'm going to go ahead and use my favorite 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 colin rothschild illuminating tinted eye cream this is such an amazing product you guys i use it in every video whether long form or short form i cannot live without it because my under eyes are super dark so i just kind of need this to brighten things up and also to obviously prep the area as well and I'm just gonna blend it out with my sponge. So these are the steps that I regularly do, normally do, always do. Now let's talk about the skin. We are gonna want to create that glow from within effect. We don't wanna look like a disco ball by the end of the day. We wanna create smart layers, <laughs> basically, to have that healthy effect without it looking too shiny if you have oily and textured skin like mine. So we're gonna start with skin prep and here we're gonna use a glowy product overall. And I'm gonna use the Rode Glazing Milk. I find that this is glowy enough without making me feel greasy and that is all I want for my skincare. And also makeup kind of layers really well on this product. So I'm just going to apply it all over my face. I also wanted to mention that all over my kind of chest and arm area, I did apply a first Illuminizing Glow Drops. These are new. These are new. And I never have any kind of glow drops or what do you call them? like tinted, like the Drunk Elephant bronzing drops, that's what they're called, or the new elf ones. Never tried any. They sent over these and I tried the deepest shade and it just gave me kind of a little bit of a golden tan and it will match my face better. I'm usually super, super fair um, until I get a little bit of tan, hopefully soon next month. <laughs> but yeah, I have super loved these. They blended out really nicely. My arms like look nice and golden. There's a little bit of gold shimmer particles. There's no glitter in it. Super nice. I'm gonna be testing these out a little bit more because there's also like a blush version and another golden version, but really, really nice so far. All right, now that we're done with the glazing milk, I'm gonna go in with another moisturizer all over my face to kind of keep the skin hydrated. Common misconception is that oily skin does not need more moisture. That that is untrue that is actually exactly the opposite our skin is oily because there's not enough moisture and the skin produces these oils to create more moisture more hydration so i'm going to use one of my favorite moisturizers this is by elf skin holy hydration gel yeah moisturizer i know some of you guys love this too this is super super lightweight nice hydrating refreshing it's just like such a pleasant experience to use this and also it's not very expensive so that i love too and i'm just going to rub it all over my face yet again skin prep is like super important when it comes to 
having that makeup look be around healthy and glowy skin. That is why we're taking our sweet time with all of the skin prep and we're gonna use a bunch of different primers as well. So far, this is what the skin prep is going to look like. I'm not gonna do anything different with my brows because her brows are honestly quite similar to mine, <laughs> color-wise as well. I'm just gonna show you the products and do them off camera. I'm gonna use Benefit Port not professional, no. Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 3.5, my favorite. And then I'm gonna do the Patrick Ta Major Brow Lamination Gel. Love this duo, I'm gonna be right back. Now let's get to the primers. I'm gonna use multiple makeup primers because not only do we want our skin to be glowy and healthy and fresh looking, we also want the makeup to stay on all day and the texture to be blurred. So I'm gonna start with our glowy primer, which is going to be this one by Natasha Denona, her High Gen Skin Glass. I absolutely adore this primer. What I am going to do is I am going to concentrate this on the outer parts of my face and carefully apply it through there and not really put it right in the center of my face where I have the most oils and the most texture. Although Natasha does say that this helps with shine and actually controls the oils production of your skin, but it's, I don't know, I don't know. I need my regular schmegular pore blurring primers, silicone primers and all of that. I trust those. Now, if you had dry or normal skin, you could go ahead and start applying your makeup and foundation and concealer, but I do need to get rid of this texture. I do not want to look textured throughout the day and too glowy, so I'm still going to go in with a smoothing and blurring primer. This is one of my favorites. This is my Sephora collection, their Smooth and Blur Primer, and I'm going to grab a little bit of this. This is a really good dupe for Benefit Cosmetics Professional Primer, and I'm going to start rubbing it in in my most textured spots without really overdoing it, without taking away the glow like I'm not putting it over there, just concentrating this through the center of my face, around my nose area, and probably on the forehead too, but only like on the T-zone, I want to say. And this will ensure that our makeup applies beautifully. The glow is going to be peeking through, but the center of the face is going to be mattified. Okay, let's get to our complexion products. You can compare the two sides. We're going for this natural look. I can see that I'm wearing makeup, but it still looks very real and natural. Not like I'm wearing a ton of different foundation and concealer. So let's get this side <laughs> looking like this. I'm going to start with one of my current favorite products. This is the MAC Strobe Light Dewy Skin Tint. Did I say that correctly? No. Strobe Dewy Skin Tint. I'm in the shade Light 2 and this is a very, very glowy product. But if you know how to use it and you know how to apply powders strategically in all of the right places, you're going to succeed using this. So I'm going to go and apply this all over my face, but make sure to not do too much. This is very glowy and it doesn't give a a lot of coverage so we're gonna get that extra coverage from our concealer so I'm just going to carefully blend it out with my sponge all over this side and you can see how beautiful the finish is if you have a dry or normal skin type you can just use this product on its own and you're gonna love it especially just like a very easy glow all over your face type of thing and now i'm going to grab a concealer but i'm gonna grab a shade lighter than i normally do this is the makeup by mario concealer i'm in the shade 160 and i'm going to go ahead and conceal under my eyes her under eyes are pretty brightened which i'm a big fan of you know me and i'm going to put a little bit through here but then i also will add some concealer where i have a little bit of redness or discoloration or any kind of spots, basically where that tint didn't really do its job. Well, I mean, it did do its job, but where I need more coverage, that's what I'm trying to say and failing miserably. And then we're going to go ahead and just use our sponge to blend everything in and create a beautiful, beautiful canvas for this makeup look. In terms of blending, I just have one tip. Do not swipe, only tap, tap, tapping motions, and especially on oily skin, because stuff can move around. Let me tell you, stuff will move around if you swipe. So try to avoid that and use tapping motions like I'm doing right now. Okay, we're finally getting to like one of the most important steps, which is going to be blush. And not only the color of her blush is really unique and interesting, it's kind of like pink, but not so pink and not so peachy and very vibrant, but somehow very weird. It's also the placement that is so, so unique and so different from what I normally do. Typically, I apply my blush a little bit higher than my bronzer, so right here on the bone. I love me a really, really high blush and like a lifted look. However, Miss Sabrina puts her blush, well, her makeup artist, kind of lower 
through the center of her cheek and then going upwards. I really enjoyed this technique when I tried it over on this side. So let's do this side together. I did pick out the Half Magic Beauty blushes because I thought if I mix several shades, these are going to work out nicely and create the shade that I need. And they're also really, really good for giving formula, kind of like a putty formula, I want to say. And I did use a little bit of this vibrant pink, my favorite neutral pink, and a bit of brown. And I'm also picking up their blush brush, which is my favorite cream blush brush in the entire world. So I'm going to go ahead and start mixing these shades and try and match one cheek to the other. And the thing here, again, just press the blush in, do not swipe anything, and work in layers. Now this is not as vibrant as here, so we need a little bit more, and that's what I'm doing. Instead of applying a lot at once, just work in layers. It will always perform better. I'm also bringing it quite high through here to get that kind of cohesive look, and then later it is going to blend in with our bronzer and just really look very beautiful. I feel like I'm getting this to be as intense as the other side. And mind you, we are going to powder, we are going to look better, everything is gonna come together, but also the powder is going to take away some of this vibrancy and we will have to come back with maybe some powder blushes. I picked out like five. <laughs> I'm going to try and not use all five. Anyways, this is our very, very blushed look. And I'm loving it, you know? I love anything makeup. I do not mind trying new techniques. This is very different from how I do my blush. But I think that I think that it's cute. I think that it's... I'm liking this. All right, so now it's time to powder the face. Because this is where we are going to get that look without looking greasy. I am just first going to make sure that there is no creasing going on under my eyes before I powder. Powder, and I will forever and always powder my under eyes first and I'm going to use my favorite Pat McGrath Labs under eye blurring powder. This is in the shade light, which is the translucent shade. I also own the pink shade, but we're going to use this one today. I'm going to get a BK Beauty 110 brush. I love these little brushes from BK for this step and I'm going to press it right under the eye just through here to set this under eye area and to blur everything look at the before no pff, i'm lying look at the before and the after this is very very nice all right now we're gonna get a good loose powder translucent or pink or whatever you could use the laura mercier the huda beauty the maybelline i'm gonna go ahead and use the car slant powder you can get it on amazon i'll link it down below it's really really good and affordable and this is called soft focus makeup powder i've tried it a couple of months ago and i just really enjoy how long wear and how blurring this is and how mattifying this is I'm gonna show you. This is what we're looking like. I'm gonna take my little heart shape makeup puff and just start strategically placing this powder. I picked up a little bit, you can't even see it. And I'm going to start pressing this powder in and kind of mattifying the areas where I need the makeup to stay longer. Like right here around the nose, right here. And then I'm gonna leave this cheek kind of semi glowy because this is where Sabrina's glow is. And we are going to bring that glow back with powder blush and some highlighter, obviously. I am pressing it all over my forehead, on my temples, and of course the chin area. So basically mattifying all of the areas that usually get really oily and greasy throughout the day. But I'm not doing any baking. I'm not picking up a ton of it. Just a tiny bit to set everything in place. This looks so good. Now this is a step for those of you who are extra like me. I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Real Flawless Luminous Perfecting Pressed Powder in the shade Translucent. And this is an all over glow type of powder. So I would never set my face with this. But I use it when I want my face Face to have a little bit more glow after I've set my face. So I'm going to take my Big Tips Beauty brush and I'm going to apply it all over the face, just a thin, very, very thin layer. And it's going to look really, really natural. And my face literally feels like there's no makeup on it. Because we're applying all of these thin, thin, thin layers, it works magically together to create this beautiful, beautiful effect. The face is looking good so far. I'm going to warm up my complexion and add a bronzer. This is my Pat McGrath. This is my favorite bronzer of all times. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit through here and then a little bit over my on my forehead, literally, to just create that sun-kissed look. 
look. I'm not trying to sculpt my face or anything, just warm it up a little bit. Okay, we are going to want to re-intensify the blush a little bit because we powdered and I picked out this trio by Natasha Denona, her Berry Pop Cheek Trio. This blush is super pigmented, but if you're careful, it's actually a pretty good shade match to Sabrina's, which I didn't think about before. I just pulled it out from my drawer, but it just looks so good even when you overdo it like I did right now. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and grab a product that I don't necessarily reach for all the time, but I'm happy that it's there because now I can finally use it. This is the Rare Beauty Powder Blush in the shade Happy. And if you've seen my videos, this does emphasize texture quite a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it just on the higher points of my cheek, kind of where the highlighter should be. Do you see that? That looks gorgeous. Mm -mm -mm. Perfect. Yeah, so this is our glowy cheek moment. Very blushed, very glowy. But then the center of my face is completely matte and nothing is going to happen to it. Okay, she does have some freckles in her look. So I did apply the freck, the original freckle pen. Um, the important part about this is to know where to stop. I don't necessarily use this very often. It's an amazing product, but I don't necessarily use this often. I think I did an okay job. So I'm going to stop now to not make it worse. For the lips, I'm going to start with my Natasha Nona I Need a Nude Lip Crane in the beautiful brown shade Luna. Then I'm going to go in with a YSL Love Shine lipstick. I believe this shade is Peachy Glow. And then top it off with one of my favorite glosses of all time. This is by Lawless in the shade Nudie. Okay, here's the eye makeup. It's super, super easy, but so stunning. We're going to start with eyeshadow primer. This one is by Beauty Creations, as usual, in the shade Ballerina, one of my favorites. I'm just going to blend it up to the brows and out to the temples. Anytime I'm doing like a sculpted cool tone matte look, I always reach for this palette. This is by ColourPop Stone Cold Fox Palette. And this is a beautiful, cool toned, gorgeous, gorgeous palette. Always reach for it. So I'm going to go in in the shade Ghost Town and I'm just going to apply this over on my crease. I'm using the Sigma E24 brush. This is just to create some definition. I'm literally just going a little bit through here and that's it. There's not much makeup going on on her eye. Then I'm going to take a neutral shade and just kind of set my lid because it's just super oily. This is not necessary, but I just need to do that so that the makeup stays in place all day. We're going to grab a brown liner. I wanted something that was a little bit more bronzy. So this is by Laura Mercier in the shade Bronze and it's a bit shimmery, but not too much. As you can see, it looks beautifully on this eye. So we're going to apply it on the waterline and tight line as well. These Laura Mercier liners are the best, the best. They're so good. The shades are very unique and they're very long wear. And then the biggest accent in her look is actually the lower lash line. So I'm going to pick up a deeper brown shade called Classic on a small fluffy brush. This is by What's Up Beauty. This is their R108. And I'm going to start smoking it out and just create that beautiful, beautiful blend. I will go back to like the original brush that I used to just kind of soften everything. This is gorgeous. I'm going to take my favorite brush for eyeshadow wing. This is BK Beauty 208. It's small, little, tiny ankle brush. And I'm going to pick up that same deep brown shade and start creating a little baby wing. You can't even see behind the lash, but we still need a little bit of that here going to relax my eyes completely and do a little bit of this connect it to my lash line we don't need anything crazy here just a little baby wing now this is what is going to complete the look and make it all come together we're gonna pick up a really really light bright matte shade like off white or even white on a flat brush and i'm going to apply it under my brow to brighten actually i'm going to layer it she has quite a bright inner corner as well so i'm going to go ahead and apply that here matte inner corner is my favorite thing in the entire world so this is my favorite part of this entire makeup look I've been kind of loving this Maybelline Sky High Base. Ba what is it called? It's a tinted primer. So it's like a lash primer and it just makes my lashes look amazing. You just go with mascara on top. It just makes them longer and I don't know, I'm really loving this product. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my mascara on top and this one is by YSL. It's a really great mascara and also will make my lashes even longer. These products just work really beautifully together. And now it seems to me that she is wearing brown mascara on her lower lashes. I don't know if I'm the only one who's seeing this, but I'm gonna use my Benefit Bad Gal Banded Mascara in the shade Rebel Brown, I believe. I love this shade. I love their burgundy shade as well. Their colorful mascaras are out of this world. And I'm just going to carefully apply it on the lower lashes. Actually, this might be a thing for me. I hate mascara on lower lashes looks so ridiculous my lower lashes are kind of long surprisingly and so 
maybe I should keep doing this, like just use brown mascara on lower lashes. It's kind of it's kind of looking really nice. Last but not least, I'm gonna apply a pair of lashes. These are the new, well, actually new collection from Kiss. These are their new natural effortless minimal look lashes in the style Freckles. Super cute. I don't even need to trim them, just on the outer corner. Okay, final steps. We're gonna do a bit of setting spray. I love this one by Morphe. And then if you feel like applying a little bit of extra glow, also go in with the Natasha Denona Beauty Glot. Oh, what? Glow Beautifier. That's what it is. That's what it is. And I'm just going to apply it on the higher points of my cheeks right through here. Right, team. And here's the final result of this beautiful, beautiful look from Sabrina Carpenter's 25th birthday party. I feel really, really beautiful. I feel like this routine is stunning. It does not feel like I'm wearing a ton of makeup. When I touch my face, it does not feel cakey or anything. It looks really glowy in all of the right places. It looks mattified through the center of the face. The eye look is super simple, but so effortlessly beautiful. This lip is everything. I love my hair. By the way, did you notice my new sign? Isn't it so cute? This says Anastasia's Glam Room, and the sign was gifted to me. This is not sponsored, but they did gift it to me. The company's name is Manhattan Neons. I'm gonna leave the information down below if you're interested in like a discount code or whatever, but I just love how it lights up my room. Everything is so pink and pretty and I feel super, super beautiful in this gorgeous makeup look. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you want me to recreate any other looks on textured and oily skin. And also I will leave everything in the description below as much information as I possibly can. And I love you so much. Thank you for watching you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.